A Terrebonne murder suspect faces additional charges tonight for allegedly shooting at Louisiana State Troopers Saturday night. Erica Ferrando reports from Shriver. What I hear is he's in good spirits. A Louisiana State Trooper is alive and only facing minor injuries after a bullet grazed his head. He's doing good. In fact, not long after he arrived at the hospital, he was actually discharged that very night. Trooper Ross Brennan says 38-year-old Patrick Waddle fired his gun at five troopers who were searching for him after he allegedly shot into his neighbor's home on Bull Run Road just after 8 Saturday night. They saw a vehicle that matched the description that the sheriff's office gave out. They tried to stop the vehicle. Um, as they tried to do that, the driver inside later identified as Patrick Waddle. He decided to open fire on our troopers. According to the Terrebonne Parish Sheriff's Office, Waddle shot and killed 51 year old Lisa Ishet. Her husband, Chad Ishet, was also shot and is hospitalized in Baton Rouge. We spoke with a niece who told us Chad has been in and out of surgery but is expected to survive. Because of his recovery process, they have not yet been able to inform him of his wife's death. Very scary. Waddle surrendered to police early Sunday morning and was booked on one count of first degree murder and one count of attempted first degree murder. Now he also faces an additional five counts of attempted first degree murder of a police officer. There was six gunshots back to back and my door was open. So it was I was very scared. This neighbor who asked us not to be identified heard the shots and witnessed the night long manhunt from her window. I seen 30 to 40 police speeding going through the woods. A motive isn't being released, but police and family confirm the Ishets and Waddle have a history. According to a 2009 article by HOMA Today, the victim's 19-year-old son died when he stepped out of a moving truck. Terrebonne Parish deputies at the time told HOMA Today Waddle was driving that truck. She's never gotten that closure, and, you know, she she's they never did say why. He opened the corridor. Waddle is now booked in the Terrebonne Parish Jail on an $11.5 million bond. In Shriver, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.